Hi, thanks for watching PCB123 videos. This video is for version 5.1 and I'm going to talk about the edit panel. In this version, we reworked the edit panel to provide consistency between the layout and the schematic. So you're going to see a very similar set of tools when you're on the edit panel, no matter if you're in the schematic or the layout. So the edit panel is this box of information here on the left hand side. If you don't see the edit panel, go to view, toolbars, and select edit panel to turn it on. So uh, things you'll see that are similar, you'll see the global view on both sides, uh, you'll see parts tab on both sides, uh, the, the preview and the libraries. With, with this library section was previously labeled the taxonomy. And then you'll see the project tab, which lets you expand down uh, each object on the PCB down to the children so you get to see every object and you can right click on any of these objects and go to properties just as if you were doing that same procedure on a part or a pin on the screen. Um, in addition, you have some reports you can run up here, get the uh, look at the bomb, a very simplified bomb report or a, a net list report or a statistics report. Kind of gives you a general overview of the objects on the board. Um, then of course you'll see the same DRC tab you've, you've seen in, in previous versions. Uh, as errors are um, generated, you can come here and expand the list, or I haven't run the DRC yet, but you can expand the list and actually jump right to specific errors on the board. It's a handy, uh, handy tool. Okay, well, uh, in addition to the, um, you know, the consistency between layout and schematic, we've added some new items down here in layout appearance. Uh, previously, some of these features were in the user preferences only, and we've exposed them to help you improve performance. So one of these features is uh, uh, draw hollow copper and positive inner planes and positive solder mask. These were all only available previously in user preferences. Um, what these do is they change the way you look at certain types of objects on the screen. So let's first look at draw hollow or hollow copper. So if I check that, you see all the solid areas here. Well, those are all going to go away, and they're not really gone. What's happening is they're being changed in from solid filled polygons to just outlines of the polygons. So the objects are still there. The properties are still maintained. They're just out of the way, which helps improve performance and allows you to see a little more clearly what's going on in the layout. Um, let's turn that off and uh, look at positive solder mask. So I'm going to turn everything off and just turn on the solder mask layers so we can actually see what's going on. Make this a little bigger here. Uh, maybe the solder mask is turned off. Yep, solder mask was turned off. Let's turn it back on. And let's look at just the solder mask. So this is a negative view of the solder mask layer. This is what we expect. Um, to see, but if you want to see what it's going to look like when the board is manufactured, you check, check positive solder mask and you can get the view of the solder mask as you would see it on the board. So let's turn on the top layer and the top solder mask and you're getting, you know, a closer look as to what you would actually see on the physical board. Um, I prefer to look at solder mask as a negative view, so I'm going to turn that off and let's look at a plane. So in this board, we have some plane layers. And so I'm going to mouse over this trace so I can see where my planes are. So inner one. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on inner one only. And so this is a negative view of the plane layer. So if I check positive inner plane, this is what we're actually, this is what it's going to look like when we actually manufacture the board. So these are some handy tools. Oh, one other option that is currently set as black, but in previous versions, we always had these plane connections. Um, you would see them on the screen as hourglasses. Uh, we now give you the option to turn those off or turn them on right here under plane connection. And uh, if you turn them off, then you won't see these little hourglasses that, are, that help you identify when a pin is connected to an inner plane. Um, I think that's about all I wanted to go over with you in this video. So if you have any questions, please give us a call 800-228-8198. Uh, you can email us at support at sunstone.com or go to sunstone.com and contact us through live chat. Thank you.